drop out because I couldn't afford it. And then um, went back a while later. And so once I got married, Ryan provided and I was able to not work. But before that, yes, I had to work. Um, and so school had to kind of take a back seat. When did you drop out? Oh, so I graduated high school in 2010, and then I went to UCA for two years. And so in, I guess in 2012, I took a couple of years off and then went back in 2014. And is that when you transferred to the Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you choose to transfer schools? Um just life changes. I was dating Ryan and he wanted to open a business here and um, I had a lot of friends in the area and it was just an easy kind of move for me. And were you pursuing your elementary education degree at UCA as well? Um, yes, I wasn't officially in any kind of program but doing the like prereqs I guess okay. for, for that program but yes, I've always been an um, education major. And whenever you did take those couple of years off, did you work to save up to go back to school, or is that when Brian started helping out? Um, no, I didn't, just because that seemed insurmountable to me. Like going to school is, um, or paying for tuition is several thousands of dollars, and I had bills to pay. So I was like kind of sustaining my regular life, like making car payments and rent and things like that. So. Um, no, I wasn't saving to go back to school at that time. I just knew that when the time came that I would have to go back to taking out loans in order to, to finish. And were your parents able to help at all, or was it all on you? No. Yeah, it was just on me. Yep. did it kind of myself. And did your parents support your going to school? Yeah. Yeah, they were excited for me just unable to contribute anything financially. So since you never changed majors, has mm -hmm. being an elementary school teacher always been the dream, always been what you wanted yeah, to do? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, since I, since I can remember as far as like going to college, I always knew that's what I would go to college to do. So having student debt didn't impact the career choice at all? No. I just saw it as like a necessary evil, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, so I've been interviewing people with debt and without debt, but yeah. I'm going to ask you how your student loan debt, since you have it, has uh -huh. prevented you, or if it's prevented yeah. you, from accessing anything that you need. So like a car, healthcare, a yeah. retirement fund if you wanted to contribute to that, okay. comfortable savings. Yeah. Um, I mean it's definitely it's definitely affected all of those things because of my credit score. Um and so going not to bird walk here, but um I don't think I realized at the time when I was taking out those loans what an impact they would have in my long term. So, yeah, I would definitely say they've affected those things, and unfortunately so. But again, I don't regret it because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get a degree. With your credit score, has it challenged you in getting a car or buying a house or built the house? Um, I wouldn't say personally because I'm married to somebody who didn't have to take out loans and who has a great credit score. But I know that had that not been the case, then yeah, I would have struggled to do any of that on my own. And how has being married made it better? Um, well, I just haven't had to suffer the consequences to the gravity 
that I would if I was on my own. So I, in a sense, this is a weird way to word it, but I sort of have Ryan to bail me out um, because I have him there to help support me financially. Um, but if I was on my own, I wouldn't have that. So kind of having a partner in it, I guess. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. Okay, has it ever prevented you or delayed accessing something that you want? So Ryan mentioned not being able to fully furnish the house all yes. at once. Are there any other instances like that? Um, definitely being able to um, get a car. I know you mentioned that earlier, but when I, uh, the last car I had, I had to get um, through a friend's parent loaned me some money and I had to sign like a promissory note and make payments back to 